So how do you go about actually implementing a stack in Python? Well, that's what I'm going to cover in this lesson. And luckily, there are some great implementations that exist in Python already without you having to do any hard work to make them have this last in, first out performance that you would want them to have if you wanted a stack data structure. So the three different implementations that I'm going to cover in this course are list, collections.dec, and q.lifoq. And in this video, I'm going to go through in the terminal and run you through how to use list and collections.dec. We'll talk about LifeOQ in the next video. So the first and simplest way to implement a stack in Python is to just use a list. So I'll say stack equals just an empty list. And list has inbuilt functions which are essentially the same as push and pop. And the first of these is append. And so you can append one, let's do append two, and let's do append three. And you can take a look, so you have a stack, and this is just the order that they were put in, one, two, and three. But the three, as you'll know from the last in, first out ordering, will be the first thing to get popped. So stack.pop, and indeed it returns three, two, one, and then again, you get an error when you pop from an empty list. So this is really, really simple, and it's, it works really quite well in most cases. But it's not the fastest possible implementation because under the hood, a list needs to support indexing. So for example, if I say for i in range 10, and then I add them all to my stack, stack.append i, then I'll have a stack with these different elements, but I can get access to those elements really easily just by doing something like this. And this takes very little time, this operation. But it does take a little extra overhead to support operations like these on a list. And that manifests itself when sometimes you have to resize the amount of memory that's taken up by a list in order to accommodate new entries. And sometimes that can be a little slower. So. A faster implementation is collections.dec. And so you have to import that from the collections module, and then we can just say stack equals dec. And this has essentially exactly the same, perf the same um, usage as the list implementation. So you say stack.append and then stack.pop. And dec also has a pop left, and you can use that to implement a queue, but that's for another video series. So you can just do stack.pop, and you can see it has exactly the same behavior, and then it just says pop from an empty deck when you try to pop from an empty deck, exactly. So again, I'll just do, to show you real quick, and you can take a look at your stack, and it's a deck with this information, and again, nine will be on the top. So you can do the same thing, the same little trick here, and you say while stack, stack.pop, or I'll say print stack.pop. And again, they're popped in last in, first out order. So those are two really simple and easy ways to implement a stack in Python. DEC is a little bit faster, but then again, it doesn't offer the same indexing capability that the list implementation does, or at least the indexing isn't quite as fast because a DEC is implemented under, under the hood as a doubly linked list, which gives it faster adding performance. You can append elements faster. And then a list is implemented as a resizable array under the hood if you're interested in things like that. So it takes sometimes can take a little bit more time to add entries to the end of a list. So if you really need pure speed, DEC is probably the better way to go.